Greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. I trust you're doing great and I welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning back in. So, this is the third part of the creation or the behind the scenes recording of the, of the creation of my two tier traditional wedding cake. So, here I'm creating the accessories the Bible to start with. Uh, this is completely edible. I have a recording on this channel of how I created this fully. So please check it out. Uh, it is completely created from fondant. I'm just smoothing out the sides. I have uh, create. I've uh, used my ruler to um, create the indentations on the back of the um, Bible. I'm just trying my best as best as I can to make it as real as possible. Then I'm now using my ruler again to create the indentation on the on the sides. To create the, uh, the impression of a spine, the book spine. Uh, then I have now put that aside or set that aside and then proceeded to creating my traditional beads. So uh, the, that is my traditional coral beads. So I have just simply rolled out red fondant or should I say coral color. I actually colored it coral, red and a bit of yellow and rolled out, rolled out a long thin sausage and then tried as much as possible to cut out equal sides of the of square or should I say rec no sorry rec uh, long just short short sausages and then I ensure that they were as equal size as possible and now what I'm doing at this stage is um, is trying to smooth smooth out the edges to round out the edges that's that there are no sharp edges that is round sort of so you cannot you, you you can't see the sharp edges from the cut so i'm just trying to use my thumbs and my forefinger to round it out uh that's what i'm doing on all of the small small sausages that's for the big beads that is for the neck i have then proceeded to the uh, wristband for the um smaller beads for the wristband again i caught a, i rolled out a smaller long sausage then cut it out or smaller long string then cut it out into uh, as equal smaller sausages as best as i can and then did the same process by um, rounding out the edges now i have now proceeded to again to roll out uh, a slightly yellow colored um, um, fondant to to create the gold part of the bead so what i'm doing here is that i measure i am measuring all these um uh, segments i think it's i measured that two two grams to make sure that these gold beads are equal so they're exactly the same weight and i tried as much as possible to roll them the, uh, the same part so these are all the gold parts although they are currently in yellow that's the first one i did was for the uh, long um, necklace now I'm proceeding to do the um, wristband in a smaller weight. Now I have now brought out my measuring kit, sorry, my sewing kit. I'm going to be using thread, red thread and needle to now put all those tiny sausages together into a long string of necklace and also wristband. So I have now um, lay, layering them out in the arrangement i want them to be on the um on the beads sorry the the way i want the beads to be laid out so I'm, I'm setting them out on the table to for me to see to make sure i don't miss out or mix any of the pattern are you subscribed to my youtube channel if you haven't done so already this is the proper time for you to do so please subscribe to my youtube channel and do hit that notification bell this will alert you whenever i upload a new video and do please leave me a comment i'd love to read from you leave me a thumbs up if you like what you see if you watch my video if you come across my video i'd appreciate it if you could leave me a thumbs up and i'd love to read from you and please do share share to your friends share on your um social media pages again i would really appreciate that uh, so going back to the video, so I'm just simply stringing the 
individual strategies along with the thread and the pattern I have um, laid out on the table. As you saw earlier, I created a bigger sausage um, with, re with red or coral color at the base to serve as some sort of like the, uh, the, the pendant. So uh, I finished now stringing them up to my desired uh, pattern and I've now tied or tying the um, string together at the top side of the beads where they meet together or where they meet and then I've cut off the excess um, thread. So that's my completed beads. That's the, um, the necklace. I hope you love it. I have now then proceeded to string in along the bracelet, the wristband. Again, putting the, um, first of all, um, I, I am first of all laying it out in the um, pattern I want them to go in so that I don't miss any pattern as I'm stringing along. Um, again, use, again, I'm using my um, needle and thread, red thread to string in accordance with the pattern I, I have um, earlier laid out. To create my um, my coral bracelet or my coral wristband, I must again remind you that I'm still running uh, running my offer on my Stemma Cakes page on Facebook and Instagram, where I am offering 20% of all celebration cakes in the entire month of. February it is my birth month so I always do that do take advantage of it if you have um, celebrations coming up in February and March so that's my um, wristbands completed so those yellow parts or yellow um, sausages are going to be painted gold so that's that completed the bracelet and the necklace are completed I've then now proceeded to continuing to, uh, with my Bible so what I've done now, I have cut out Holy Bible text and I'm now placing them on the Bible stretch, I mean, in, in, in a way to make it look real. So I've used water as um, adhesive for the uh, text to sit on. So it's simply Holy Bible that I'm placing on top of the uh, Bible. So I'm doing using every tool I can, every tool possible. To make sure that it is as um, perfect as it can be, I've used my ruler to ensure that it is um, straight. It, it is set straight on the book. Yes. So don't forget to take advantage of the offer, and that's my completed holy Bible with the text on top of it. I hope you like it. Do leave me a comment. Do leave me a thumbs up. So I've now proceeded to the finishing of my cake. Proud that, as I said earlier, I didn't show where I covered the cakes with fondant or stack them. So I, as you can see, I've already stacked my cakes. The, ten, the 12 inches at the bottom and the 10 inches pillow on top. So I've covered them with fondant. I used the drip over method. I have a video recording on this channel where I show how I cover my cake using the drip over method. You, that's again using fondant. Using my airbrush machine, I've then proceeded to um, airbrush the cakes in gold using my gold edible um, airbrush paint. I then proceeded to pipe in a lovely design using royal icing on top of the two cakes on the top side. It took a long time, uh, but well, it was a job well done. I then proceeded to finishing up my accessories. So I have painted the yellow bits in gold. Uh, that's my my uh, my necklace and my bracelets. I've painted them in gold, and of course painted the Holy Bible text on my Bible also in gold. At this point in time, I'm just placing the small bracelet on the, the cake. I hope you love it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. The setup. Yeah.